<laughs> the greatest ladies here. Beautiful Christmas tree and a crash scene in the lobby at Notre Dame. And now we're heading out to the buses. Today it's all day Bethlehem. And there's our buses ready to load. Look at that beautiful sign there. Palm trees and ready to go on the buses. I want to tell you first about the levels of history you're going to see today in Bethlehem because we're stepping into a city that goes back at least 4,000 years and it's kind of like looking at a birthday cake. If you cut it in half, you can see all the different layers. I'm going to try and give you just some of the basic ones so that you get a brief idea of the history you're stepping into. We start 4,000 years ago with Jacob, who is Abraham's grandson, Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob. And one day Jacob was coming on the same road that you're on now, passing Jerusalem, going through Bethlehem, and on his way down to Hebron, which is 15 miles further where he lived. And on his way along this journey, on this same road, he came to the entrance of Bethlehem, and he had a wife named Rachel, and she was very pregnant, nine months pregnant. And she got off her camel at the entrance of Bethlehem, gave birth to a boy named Benjamin, and then she died in childbirth. They buried her on the side of the road. That was 4,000 years ago. Rachel was buried there. By the way, when we go through, you'll still see signs. Rachel's tomb. It's still there. Jews, they have a synagogue, and they go in there now, and they still pray. Bethlehem. See that wall to the right and in front of you? 30-foot wall that surrounds Bethlehem. Nobody from Bethlehem comes in or out without special permission from Israel. Our Palestinian, the see the Jews don't see Christian or Muslim Palestinians, they only see Palestinians, they're all the same. So the Christians behind this wall are punished equally with the Muslims even though they have never done anything wrong. Yeah, that's nice, huh? And so now we're see we're gonna be going through that wall and as soon as you do, you're out of Israel and you have arrived into the Palestinian territories. The police and soldiers on this side of the wall are Jewish. The soldiers and police on that side of the wall are Palestinians. These here are Jewish. They're checking, you know, see, look at them opening the trunk of the cars, making sure there's no bombs, there's no problems. They're not smuggling somebody out. So you're now entering Jerusalem, uh, Bethlehem. We are now welcome to Bethlehem. You are no longer in Israel. You are now in the Palestinian West Bank of Jerusalem. And there's that quarter mile line of buses waiting to go through security. Bethlehem, nativity, souvenirs, jewelry, icons, olive wood. We've arrived at the nativity store here in Bethlehem where we're going to have some time for shopping and everybody's excited. Here we go. Nativity store, welcome Steve and Janet Ray group. Hello, Fadi. Good morning. Happy New Year. Look at here's Fadi. Hey. Happy New Year. Chocolates for the employees. To Moses, so he can distribute that on their behalf. He's going to put it in his car. Is everybody here? Yeah. Okay. Let me have your undivided attention, please. All right? I mean, don't breathe normally. <laughs> All right. I talked about olive wood carvings, and I said, you know, some are considered grade A and B and C. This is A+. Plus. This is a Twainy piece right there. This is Our Lady of Nazareth that I explained at that church back home. <laughs> All right. You see that? Just something to... Uh, brush your eyes this morning, start, we all, you know, after they're done, we have a whole 15 minutes for you to shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Brother Steve, Ms. Janet, thank you for coming, and your group, we are very honored and blessed to have you all. Father James, who is Father James? We are very honored to have you again. I remember you like three years ago at the old store. So this time, from our Christian community in Bethlehem, we would love to share love and give you a small gift. 
we have this icon. This is the Holy Family icon. Take your time, please. <laughs> the Holy Family icon. It's sterling silver with oh. all the label. That would be a small gift with a lot of love and happiness from our community to you and your people to thank you for coming. Please accept. Oh. one big cross with four small crosses around it, which means the four corners of the world, the four gospel, and the third meaning, the five wounds of Jesus. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> everyone. Just arrived at the Church of Nativity. We're going in this little door. This is our group here. And uh, we got dropped off right at the church. Very nice. We all have to stoop and go in this door. I gotta get in, I'm gonna help. Keep people moving. From the Livingstons. Okay, we're now in the church. 
Hello. How are, How are you? Good. I'm good. Line's not too bad today. Maybe an hour and a half. Good morning. Here we are in the nave of the Church of Nativity. Line's not too bad. Here we're going to get everybody coming in and get in line here. Mosaics. I want to say new mosaics, but they're newly restored. They were under plaster for hundreds of years, and they've just restored them and brought them back. Here's our group in line now. Armour is explaining the whole history of the church while we wait in line to get down. We're going right through that door, and then we're going to go through another room and then down into the uh, grotto of the birth of Jesus. These are our folks coming down the stairs now to touch the birthplace of Christ. It's very crowded here today. There's the birthplace of Christ right there, 14 pointed star. There comes our folks down. That's the Nativity Church of the Franciscans. We all just touched the birthplace of Christ. We're now praying the mystery of the rosary of the Nativity. To musical accompaniment, no less. for lunch here. They're going to get falafels or shawarma. Everybody's getting settled in. Kind of a noisy crowd. So we stop here at the promenade to look out over Jerusalem. I'm going to give my 25-minute story of salvation history from Abraham to Augustine, or till today, actually, from Adam and Eve until today. And there's the Temple Mount, Mount Zion. There's the Mount of Olives. Down there's the Jordan Valley. So we're going to be talking about this for the next 25 minutes. Steve, we can't hear you. See, you, the Old and the New Testaments fit together so amazing. Go take your son. He's a father with an only begotten son whom he loves. What verse does that sound like? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And that's exactly what this is. This is a picture of a father who has an only son who is going to sacrifice him because someday, 2,000 years later, another father with an only son is going to sacrifice him. And where's Mount Moriah? We learn in the book of Chronicles that Mount Moriah... Solomon built his temple on Mount Moriah. That's where Solomon built his temple. Abraham had to come here to Jerusalem and offer his son here because 2,000 years later, another father was going to offer his son on the same mountain. Can't fit it all on the first video today, so I'm going to end part one of today and start part two. So watch part two for our mass and visit to Shepherd's Field and our dinner and dancing and back to our hotel in Jerusalem.